The vote is in and the Greek people are saying no to a bailout from the European Union in return for more spending cuts. Earlier results suggest the no camp is one with around 61% of the vote. All eyes are now on Europe's response. Henry Ridgewell reports from Athens. By sunset, Syntagma Square outside Parliament was filling with jubilant Greeks. Polls had suggested a tight result. In the end, Greece, by a wide margin, rejected Europe's offer of a bailout in return for more austerity. As a Greek, I feel very proud that people did not have fear. They voted with their hearts. Among the no supporters, there is a sense of surprise at the apparent scale of their victory and also a sense of relief that the chapter of five years of austerity may be coming to an end. But there is a sense of the unknown over what happens when the party ends. I don't know what tomorrow brings. I'm a little bit concerned. I hope that this no that the Greek people have said to Europe and the world is not seen as no to the euro. That is exactly the warning Brussels officials had given Greece before the vote. But the scale of the victory is an emphatic vote of confidence in Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras. You have made a generous choice. However, I'm fully conscious that the mandate you have given me is not a mandate against Europe, but a mandate to find a sustainable solution with Europe that will take us out of the vicious cycle of austerity. Greeks will get a first idea of Europe's response to their rejection Monday morning when the European Central Bank meets to decide whether to continue propping up Greek banks. That relief may be short-lived. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, Athens. Well, as Greece and Europe contemplate possible scenarios for the days ahead following the no vote, Africa 54's Zoe Ludaki reached out to Harris Milonas, Assistant Professor of Political Science and International Affairs at George Washington University, to get some perspective. He talked to her from his home in Thessalonica, uh, Thessaloniki, the second largest city in Greece. The thunderous no vote to the referendum in Greece surprised even the Greek people and instigated skepticism among the European leaders. This referendum was characterized as a catalyst for the Greek political scene, according to Haris Milonas. The thing we know for certain is that this has uh, definitely strengthened um, the Prime Minister Tsipras, uh, both inside his party but also at the country level as a whole. But at the same time, uh, we, it has also become a catalyst for changes uh, in the opposition. Uh, we saw the former prime minister, Adonis Samaras, uh, resigning, and that was uh, met with a lot of uh, approval by many of his own party members that have been asking implicitly for it for a while. But also it has been um, met with approval by many of the Greeks that, um, as you know, because of this austerity going on for five years, they're really eager to basically see new faces and do away with the old guard. A crucial meeting with the European leaders is set for tomorrow, where Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras will present his aid proposal. We have some signs at the moment uh, where basically we're seeing that some of the European powers are still holding a, a harsh line. Uh, but at the same time, this is all um, individuals and so on and so forth to wait for the Eurogroup meeting tomorrow, and then the head of states, uh, heads of states are meeting later uh, in the day, and we'll have to wait for their official positions. The Greek government plans to extend the closure of banks beyond Monday by at least a few more days, according to banking sources. In the meantime, as the enthusiasm of the referendum starts to wane, and the lines continue to form in front of the ATMs, the Greek people are growing increasingly worried about the future of their country. Zoe Liudaki for VOA News.